Hi, I'm Lori Gann Smith. I am the resident costume designer at Nashville Repertory Theater. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about being a costume designer. So the costume designer for a theater is the person who is in charge of designing all of the costumes that the actors wear on stage during a show. Uh, I work closely with the director and we have what's called production meetings with all the other artistic and production staff along with the director of the stage manager and the technical director. In these meetings, we discuss what the concept is that the director is going for, uh, time period of the play, uh, different details about the play. And these give me an idea about how to go forward with the design of the costumes. I also read the script several times, once through just to get the story and what's going on, and then several other times to make sure that I'm picking and teasing out any details that are specific to costume. Uh, for instance, like does someone have to pull a letter out of their pocket? Because if they do, then they're gonna need a pocket in their costume. Um, I'm looking for what time of day it is, what the uh, climate is like, the season of the year, where they're located. Um, all these things are very important to look at when you're looking at costume design. Once I have all this input from the director, I know what the other designers are doing, and I also am aware of all these things from the script, then I will do sketches, uh, usually just rough sketches, pencil sketches. Sometimes I use my iPad, um, and I will communicate this visually with the director to see if we're on the same page about things. Then I'll begin to render, and renderings are when you add color, and they're much more um, detailed drawings or paintings of uh, character for the director. Um, once I do my renderings and they're approved by the director, then I can hand those off to the costume shop. The costume shop manager and other people who work in the costume shop, like the cutter draper, that's the person that makes patterns for costumes that are going to be built, and also the first hand, and that person assist the cutter draper in cutting things out, making patterns, uh, draping on the form, those sorts of things. And they will come up with how to basically make the clothing. And then stitchers are the ones who will sit at the sewing machines with the pieces, parts that have been cut out and actually put together the costumes. Um, the designer is usually involved in fittings with the actors. So when fittings are called by the stage manager and the shop manager of the costume shop, then the designer will be on hand to kind of tweak things as they're fit to the actor. Um, the costume designer is also at the dress rehearsals where the costumes are on the actors for the first time without an audience so that he or she can make notes about whether or not um, there need to be changes and also confer with the director and other designers during the dress rehearsal about sort of what's going on, the lighting designer, lighting and costumes work together very carefully. And then um, after any tweaks are done, then the design is done and all of the costume stuff is handed off basically to the wardrobe crew who run uh, the costumes and help the actors during the run of the show when it is performed. Um, the skills required for this job, um, you don't have to be a great sewer, but if you know how to sew, it makes you a better designer because you will understand more about how things are put together, how things have to be made, and you're a much greater resource um, for the costume people. Um, you do have to have a little bit of drawing skill or able to collage things together, some way to visually represent um, to your director and other designers what you're thinking about in your head. Um, and I think also just being a person who likes to work in a team because the costume designer has to work with a lot of different people. Um, some of the challenges of this particular job are learning how to accurately represent in your drawings what you're thinking about. 
And so knowing how to translate textures and colors and um, proportion of a garment um, and how the garment relates to the body, that's one of the challenges of this particular job in the theater. Um, some of the rewards are just, you know, being able to see your beautiful costumes on stage once they're created and seeing how you can support the actors. Um, that's really a great reward when an actor really feels at home in your costume, feels like it's really helping you, helping them to convey the character that they're trying to play. Education or experience for this position really vary. I have um, a bachelor's degree in theater and a master of fine arts degree in costume design. But I know other costume designers who do not have a degree in costume design. And they simply came up the ranks working in costume shops, uh, getting freelance jobs and working their way up uh, to being a costume designer. I think the type of student who would be interested in costume design would first of all have an interest in fashion and clothing um, because you really need to know the history of fashion and clothing to be a good costume designer. And also you just need to be interested in fabric and clothes and the way things go together. Um, and also, again, like a team player, somebody who is willing to collaborate and work with other people to form the entire piece of art, which is a theatrical performance. Also having a good attitude about working with actors and being empathetic to their needs is a really good skill to have. You can find out more about costume design online. Um, you can go to the National Reps website and see some of the costume designs, go see shows and sort of look at the costumes as they relate to the characters that are being played. Um, there are lots of good books and websites out there about costume design. Um, and I just encourage you to go out and learn more. And obviously, um, please feel free to get in contact with me if you have questions 